Hi everyone, today we're gonna start with the ingredients for the guacamole first. One avocado. You could use one lemon or you could use half of a lemon. Onion. Cilantro. Peppers, roasted pumpkin seeds, roasted corn, and half a teaspoon of olive oil. Hi everyone, today we're going to be making a delicious guacamole. So let's start with the first step. We're going to get one, lem one half of the lemon and we're gonna put it in our onion. So we're gonna put all of it. Okay, once all the lemon is being added to the onion, we're gonna leave it here for a couple minutes. The secret uh, for this recipe is not putting the lemon straight to the, to the avocado, it's putting it in the onion. So let's continue with our next step. The next step is going to be uh, the salt. We're going to be adding the salt. So for this one, you could add as much of salt as you want. It's your uh, preference. Okay. And our, ne our next uh, ingredient will be the black pepper. And this will be the black pepper. This one is optional as well. The next step will be, uh, we're gonna be mashing the avocado. Kayla is helping me mash the avocado. So we're not gonna, I don't really like it very, very smash. So we're just gonna smash it a little bit. So one is smashed, we're gonna add the next ingredient. Our next step, uh, after our avocado is already mashed, we're gonna be adding the onion. So we're gonna put about, let's see, about two, two spoons. Uh, one more, a full spoon. Okay. A little bit more. Is your uh, preference as much as onion you want? And then we're gonna be adding the cilantro. This is your preference. Sometimes uh, if you don't like cilantro, you could skip this step. Uh, you could always add um, parsley instead of cilantro, but we usually like it with, with cilantro, so uh, your choice, either if you wanna skip this, this step or add uh, parsley. The next ingredient will be adding the corn. This corn is roasted. I roasted before adding it because it gives it like a roasty flavor. So it's your option as well if you want a roaster or just um, or just uh, regular corn. Now we're gonna be adding the peppers. Peppers you could either uh, add like if you have jalapenos, but if you don't like it spicy, you could skip this step as well. We usually have uh, peppers in our garden, so we're gonna be adding some of those peppers here in the guacamole. Okay, next we're gonna be adding the pumpkin seeds. The pumpkin seeds will give will give the guacamole like a crunchy taste. So if you wanna add like that crunchy taste, you could add some pumpkin seeds. But we like it, a little bit of um, crunchiness in the guacamole. Okay, next we're gonna be adding the olive oil. The olive oil. I know the avocado already has oil, but this one will the the extra virgin olive oil will add more like a creamier um, creamier taste to the guacamole 
so you could either add it or skip this step but um, it's usually really good if you add a little bit now our last step will be mixing all the ingredients so Kayla's gonna be mixing it up oh wow looks really good yep it sure does Mm, you could see it. I kind of want to eat it now. All those colors. You guys need to try it. It's going to be so good when you make it. Okay, and the guacamole is done. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you could try this recipe at home. You subscribe to our, to our channel. You give us a like. And make sure you put your comment what other recipes you want to see. But really, it lo looks really good. Can't wait to try it. Hope you guys could try it at home as well. It's delicious. Okay, so we'll see you next time. Bye. But wait a minute, somebody show up. Do you want guacamole, Bella?